Hey everyone, Kyle Lone here with a special sketch box. I went ahead and because I have pets and because I'm interested in these sketch boxes, I purchased the sketch box exclusive pet sketch box. So let's open this guy up and see what's in him. This box is a single time one. It's about $50 plus shipping and stuff like that. It says there's going to be about 80 dollars worth of materials in here. So let's see what we get. Okay, so first I found the little sticker. It's adorable. And we have the artwork for this box, which is this beautiful dog. And here's the artist. And here is our list of stuff for this box. It is a pet portrait box. And here is our stuff. We've got some gouaches, we've got some canvas, we've got a whole bunch of fun stuff. So without further ado, let's pull this stuff out and see how it goes. Okay, first up, we have the whole bin acrylic gouache five piece set. Of assorted colors. This water soluble paint dries quickly and to a matte finish. It's very versatile and it's great for bold colors or delicate details. So here we have white, black, a blue, a yellow, and a red, which is nice. I only really have a white gouache, so I'm really excited to try other color of gouaches. And in addition to our gouaches, they provided us a palette. This palette, though, right off the bat has, has seen some stuff. <laughs> I don't know what's all over it, but there's got some black stuff on it. So let's just rub that off real quick and get colors onto the palette. So gouache acts a lot like watercolor because it's water soluble, but it becomes more, uh, less translucent and it's firmer. I can say in light colors right now, the way that's coming out, it's very soft. Um, it doesn't feel thick. It definitely feels closer to a watercolor. Like as I push it out of the tubes and these colors are very vivid. There we go. So here are our color palette. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out our brushes. So there's two brushes that come with this one. We have the silver brush, which is a stroke brush, half inch, great for filling in large areas or blocking in areas. It's a very, very long bristled. There we go. Here we are. Here's your details from Sri Lanka. That's fun. I think I have another silver white brush that Sketchbox has provided us previously, but never one this big. So I'm excited to try that one. And then the second brush they provided is a Fred, uh, a Princeton select round size three, perfect for acrylic painting and rendering fun. So that's gonna be a nice one. I think I have in my personal, yeah. I have a couple of very tiny Princeton ones that I've used in the past for details and I've been very impressed with them in the watercolor world. This one's a bit rounder, so I'm curious to see if I still enjoy it in a larger size. Okay, let's see how these get on the paper. Let's start with this brush and let's see how the blue is. So here's our blue. As you can see, it's very thick. It's very vivid. It's not watering down at all. But if we go back and we add more water to it, we can spread it out and it does become a little bit more opaque. But it still stays pretty vibrant. Like you don't get the washout you do in watercolors 
because this is, I think, a thicker pigment. There you go. We still get a nice blend. Okay, let's go for the red. I'm excited that this red's a little bit more red red as we said, as I said in the last box, I feel like sometimes the red means a little bit to the orange, like a, a warm red from our last box. We had this red, which just seems oranger in comparison to a lot of other reds. There we go. Let's spread this guy out. Yeah. In comparison, this red is almost more purple compared to the other reds that we've gotten, but I am very, very happy with that. Let me just, just my lights real quick. So it's not as, oops, washing out, but you guys can see. There we go. So it's got a very nice fade to it and you'll see that more as it dries. And then we have our yellow. These are all very beautiful, very good, strong primary colors, which are gonna be great for blending. Because right off the bat, you go, oh my God, how am I supposed to paint my pet with three primary colors? But that's the best part is that by giving you the three primary colors, they've given you the building blocks for everything you need to make the colors that you need. So let's go ahead and mix a little blue. A bit of the red. To make a purple. That's a nice purple. Purple I love because purple great does great in shadows. Like I love adding like Instead of just going for my black, I usually add in a little bit of purple for it and stuff like that. Let's do a little bit of red. And a bit of yellow. Get us a nice orange. So as you can see, as long as we have these three colors and they're blending absolutely beautifully, they're soft, they're nice, they have a nice translucent and a fade to them. They handle really nicely. This brush is great. It lays down exactly where I want it. It doesn't flare out. There's no flyaways to the water, uh, to the paint at all. Okay, and last one, let's do a green. Such beautiful colors. I, I am super excited about these. Um, a lot of the sketch boxes lately have been very watercolor based. So even though this is a watercolor based paint, I'm so excited to be working with gouache instead of just pure watercolor. Okay, so there's our wonderful color palette and you're probably wondering, okay, how are we gonna make like a, a nice brown? So to make a brown, it's, it's interesting to make a brown. It depends on what color brown you want to get. You got your ambers and you've got your more like uh, brown browns. But you just play with your ratios and you figure out, okay, I want it a little warmer. I want it a little cooler. I want it a little this. I want it a little that. And you just play around. There it is. I think it needs a little bit of purple on it. You just play around and try to figure out your colors. So my cat is more along this color range. She's got this color in her and she's got a darker brown in her. So I'll be doing some blending and I'll be doing some more mixing to figure out a perfect color palette for her. Like maybe a little bit more blue. just play around and see how it goes. As you add more water to your mixing, it will get a little bit more opaque, it appears. So I just need to make sure that while I'm mixing colors, I'm pouring more from the tubes. Okay, 
Let's do a quick wash with this guy in a black to see how this one works. Oh, that goes on nicely. Nice, strong, stays very square. As you see, I grabbed a lot of water on this brush and it holds a lot of water, so it allows me to really push that pigment even further. Of course, there will be a dilution in the paint and it looks like I have to be a little careful on my upstroke because I can flick it. But beautiful, it goes on like absolute silk, great brush. Okay, so the other things that they've also included into this collection is a set of Winston and Newton Sketch Pencils Studio Collection. Let's see if we can get this guy opened. Let's see. <laughs> there we go, don't even need a knife. And a nice little carrying case too. So Studio Collection, this six piece sketching set contains a variety of pencils in different mediums to help achieve a wide range of values to depict your furry friend. Let's see what we have in here. Okay. So it looks like we've got some charcoal. Here we have a medium charcoal pencil, which is just smooth as all. So the thing about charcoal is it is very like blendable. So if you go in and you're doing some shadows in here, where graphite also would do this, this does it to a more, uh, to a next degree of it, but it allows a great, it goes on quick, it goes on dark, and it's blendable into a shadowed gradient, which is really nice. So that is our medium one. Then we have a hard charcoal, which has a much fine, it holds its point a lot longer. It still has the same medium thing. This is a hard charcoal. It goes on a little stiffer. You can feel it in the pressure, but it goes on beautifully. And then we have a sepia pencil, which actually appears to be a sepia charcoal as well. So here we have a little bit more of a brown tone to it compared to our blacks, but still has that same blending quality to it. Next, we have a white charcoal. So once this gets drier, we'll try that on the, on the black area. Then we have an 8B, which is a very soft lead pencil. And as soon as I put it to the paper, I can feel how smooth it is. So it's great for sketching, laying down quick sketches. It still has a lot of blank because there's a lot of graphite in that. But it's a great sketching pencil. And then the last pencil in the set is a 4B. So a little bit harder in lead compared to the, to the 8B. Still has a blend to it. Holds its point a little bit longer. It's a little softer than your regular yellow pencil that you may use. It's a great one to have in the set. So together, these six are fantastic for sketching. And like I said, once the paint dries a little bit more, we'll use the white charcoal on that black section. Uh, in addition to that pencil, we also have what's called the General's Pencil. Scribe All. So here we are. So this scribe all black is a rich black cover all pencil to help darken areas and create rich detail. So let's just try it by itself. It is smooth. It is like almost like an ink coming out of a pencil. It's so smooth on the paper. The other ones had a little bit of a, it was smooth, but it was smooth that it was charcoal coming off of a pencil. Feel, this one feels more like it's melting as it touches the paper, which is really fun. So it does get very dark. It feels a little bit like a Prisma with its wax quality. 
And it says that it's water soluble, writes on glass, metal, plastic, and wood. So I guess a little bit closer to, um, uh, what is it called? A China marker? Let's see. So here, so it is water soluble. You can push it around. It does hold a little bit. Clearly it does get granular when I, in this area that I have pressed it down a lot. So it's not as smooth as the black wash, but it is moving. You're able to use it as a, as a watercolor pigment, but just not as smooth. It even seems a bit on the warmer side comparing to the black wash that was provided. Okay. The next thing we have in the box is uh, a Sakura Pigment 08, which I love these markers. These are one of my favorite. I have a little bit of problem sometimes with breaking the bristles because um, what this is is a bunch of tiny, little tiny tubes that is, as you apply pressure, it brings the ink down to the little tubes. And if you're working with lots of charcoals, lots of colored pencils, and you have stuff on the paper, sometimes it gets clogged up. So just make sure that you're working on a clean surface or everything is brushed off and you're not going to clog the, the pen. So I love these pens. These are amazing. An 8.0 one is pretty thick compared to uh, the ones that we usually get in the boxes, which are usually around a 0.5. So this is better for like doing filling in areas and stuff. It's going to be very, um, it's going to give you a great line, but it's not going to be too fine of a detail. So that's a great add to this box. Still waiting for the paint to dry. Then next we have is the Studio Life Custom Frame. So here we have the Studio Life Custom Frame. These handmade frames are created by Stitch Life Studios at Stitch Life Studio in Asheville, North Carolina. So what it looks like is that we are going to do the canvas in a little while and these stretches. Yep, they're all well attached with these little hooks and it stretches and you just slide your canvas into there and it holds it in the frame for you. So that's gonna be a nice little add on. And like I said, here is our Art Alternatives Round Edge Canvas Palette. So this is actually bigger than I thought it would be when they showed the box online and they showed the rounds. I thought the rounds were closer to this size. So this is nice. It's a much larger area. And as you can see, it fits very perfectly into this frame. There's also a, a piece of rubber plastic packing. I don't know if this was for protection of something or if it's to keep it from sliding out because right now I can feel it's a little loose and it's going to slide. So it may be something that you put in the back to pressure, which means it's gonna push away quite a bit from the wall. But it also looks like this is just tied with a knot. So you could tie it tighter if you want to, but still it doesn't get really close to the frame. So they give you a three pack and in the description of the box online, it says that it's meant to give you an ability to do uh, in case you have mistakes or you want to do multiple pets. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do one of my pet and then I want to do two realistic styles of Pokemon, which is going to be fun. Coming back real quick to the white charcoal. Not fully dry on our, on our canvas, but as you can see, this is gr a great way to come back in and maybe do some fur detail or some whisker detail on top of the area. So that might be fun. If you come back in with these three and start doing your fur with the sketch box, with these uh, sketch materials. <laughs> and here, if we go back in with this guy, this guy should go really nicely on top. So he even goes on top of the white charcoal without blending it too much. So this will be a great way using Flix to create a fur like pattern if you just come in here and do like this repetitively pardon my computer <laughs> okay so as thank you so much for stopping by so let's just go over the materials real quick again we got the set of whole gouache which I'm excited to use in so many different ways 
We've got a, a canvas set. Wait. Oh, this is the palette. My palette did not come in a bag. Don't know why it did not come in a bag. That's down here. So we have our canvas set and we have the wood panel. Back up just a bit more. We have the canvas set and the wood panel. We have the paint brushes. We have the Princeton and we have, just get cleaned off. This guy holds a lot of water and a lot of paint. So that's nice for doing large areas. We have the silver white one. We have the entire sketch set. We have the additional general's pencil. We have the Sakura uh, Micron 0.8 marker. And that is everything. So for $50, you get all of this stuff. Uh, they said that there's gonna be a instru special instructional video on the website for how to do your own pet, port petri pet portraits. So hopefully I can achieve something like this just with my cat. Be adorable and cute. Thank you so much for stopping by for this special sketch box opening and I hope you guys all have a great day.